Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Vault Milestone 2. I don't want to turn into someone who thinks like her. There you are, Rune. Um, how is Sally doing? She's fine and she just came too. Thank goodness. All hands on deck. Ah, uh, uh. Excuse us, people passing through. What's all the commotion? Seems like we've arrived at the swap point. As I realised that the ship has stopped, I also noticed the presence of a small boat anchored beside us. Looks like they're switching with a crew from the inner pole. Which means... Ah, mana. Yes. This feels right. A feeling of relief fills me. The past four days we've spent in the outer pole feel like ages ago now. Ooh, you can already sense the manner. Yes. It's an indescribable feeling, but it's like a warm embrace. Maybe it's because we've been in the outer pole for so long. But this may be the first time in my life that I've truly felt the presence of manner. This sensation is like slowly immersing oneself in water for the exact of the exact same temperature. As it permeates throughout my body, it be I've become warm with me, and I've become linked with the environment. I sense the manner assimilating into me. The way this manner exerts pressure on the skin, this is unmistakably aqua manner. This ratio of manner is quite skewed though. We're near the second pole after all. The second pole is aqua I believe. So it seems. I've only ever heard about it. Aqua, huh? Of all the attributes, it's the one I'm worst at handling. Is that so? I didn't know people had a weak and strong area for mana. Heck, I thought you were a master at everything. Is that sarcasm I hear? Of course I'd have my weak points too. Alright ladies, this is as far as my crew and I get. The one in black looking a whole lot better now. All thanks to you. Getting closer to the man has practically brought me back to life. As it permeates throughout my body, it becomes one with me and I become linked with the environment. Well, I guess that explains it. Ah, that's right. Even though I have gotten sensitive because we haven't had any exposure in the last few days, the presence of mana can still be sensed on one's bare skin. Captain, are you alright? What about mana shock? Of course I ain't alright, and I, I'll have to move the swap point back too. This is clearly unreasonable. Why would people from the outer pole uh, have to go up to the very edge of where mana starts to become abundant? Why can't people from the inner pole just sail straight to your port instead? With the ports being as close as they are, people from the inner pole would have far fewer problems than you would. Because they don't wanna. They can't stand being some place without mana. That's absurd. Besides, from their point of view, they're being nice enough to give us some work. The contract chief Rudo drew up nets them a pretty good deal, but they just won't be reasonable with that. They said that we'd have to do this much if we really wanted to work with them. Oh, I swear, damn people from the inner pole are always so uncondescending. <laughs> I see. That really hurts. Well, it's only been a short while, but good luck. You take care of yourself, especially you, Superwoman. Yes, thank you for taking us this far, <laughs> Superwoman. The change of crew took no more than ten minutes. It seems to be just routine for the experienced sailors. But that's only natural. Slack off and in the worst case, lives may be at risk. Alright, oh, Master Hertzvan did say that the outer pole's boundaries were shrinking. He did, yes. I wonder what's causing it. 
It'll take quite some time, but what if the boundaries are pushed back all the way to the cities? I'd rather not imagine. In any case, we really were in the outer pole, huh? Did you have a revelation? I never once in my life thought I'd end up going there. There isn't anything like it anywhere near Rusenhide, so I never imagined a place like that in the outer pole. Katona, is everything alright? Whoops. I completely forgot. I was supposed to bring Rude to Selfine. I guess I took far too long. Sally, you're alright now. I feel fine. All I needed was some rest. What's wrong, Sally? Rune, I'm really sorry. Sorry for saying all those horrible things. From when you were suffering from Empress Syndrome. So you know about it? Yes, Returner told me about it. That wasn't my first time. Ow. I might end up experiencing it again. But I really didn't mean to. No, I can't say that I didn't mean to. Huh? What did you mean? Ian, no, I was overcome like that. I still had a clear sense of who I was. I did what I did back then because in my mind that was what I thought was the best. So I can't say that I didn't mean any of it. Sally. Haha, <laughs> relax, it's alright. Don't beat yourself up over it. Eh? I want to know more about the people who gave me a second chance at life. You and Returner treated me an e like an equal when I wasn't even human. There's no way either of you could be anything but good people. Rune. Acting out of the usual doesn't change anything about your soul, your memory manner. That's what I believe. Thank you. Thank you, Rune, from the bottom of my heart. That wasn't my first time. I'm looking forward to the rest of our journeys together. Me too. You were taking a while to get back, Returner. Did something happen? Sorry, I was about to call Rune over, but the ship was just uh, switching crews. Switching crews? We just arrived at the boundary between the poles, so the ship had to change hands. What? Wait, so does that mean all the people aboard this ship weren't with us earlier? Indeed, they finished transferring just earlier. Amazing, doing all of this while at sea. Have you started to feel it yet, so, uh, Selfine? Feel what? We've entered the Inner Poles area now. Ah, now that you mention it, I can. This is mana. Wait, this this feels different from Rusenhides. The continent we were sailing towards is the second pole. It's filled with aqua, the complete opposite of Rusenhides' mana. Oh, you're right. This is Aqua Manor. It really does feel completely different. Wow. So the affinity of the manor changes the sensation. With the manor ratio this different, you can definitely feel it. It's like we've stepped into a completely different world. Oh, wait, Sally. You couldn't immediately tell what kind of manor it was. <laughs> if I could, I'd be a single crafter in no time. Single crafter? Long explanation, but in our kingdom system, you're ranked from single crafter up to quin crafter, indicating how many types of money you mastered. To pass the exam to be a single crafter, you need to be able to sense mana, analyse it, and determine its composition, and shift or manipulate it in to a certain degree. Is that something anyone can do? Well, ascertaining the composition and shifting should be doable for anyone. However, Manacraft operates on precise ratios, so studying and practice are essential for efficient use of craft. Maintaining a campfire would be the easiest analogy. 
wet branches and leaves won't catch fire, and rocks and dirt aren't any good either. Just throwing in whatever you find isn't going to work. Mana craft is taking the proper fuel, in our case mana, from the surroundings, the atmosphere, and producing the desired results. I think I'm starting to get it now. It sounds incredibly simple and intuitive, but just becoming a single crafter is really hard. Hmm, hey, you over there, who are you? What are you still doing here? The rest of the crew have already boarded the other ship. And you are? I'm the captain of the second crew. Ah, we're originally residents of the Nepal, so no worries. Please red, uh, steady the ship on her course. <laughs> what? Hey, are you really from the inner pole? We are. Well, technically one of us isn't, but I'd rather not get into the details. I can't believe you went into some mannerless hellhole like that. Just what the hell were you doing with sad bums like those? Oh, you three alright? <laughs> you did not just say that. Ruined slumps. Is this what they call discrimination? You sure have a way with words. We're feeling somewhat ill because we overextended our stay, but what we did there is none of your business. Huh. The captain splits over the side of the uh, spits over the side of the vessel and glares at us in bewilderment. He sneers at us as if thinking to himself that he was a fool for asking. Was he really that taken aback by our attitude? Ah, we're in no petition to pick a fight with him. Excuse me. Well, let's just say we've been through a lot. We're in your hands, Captain. The Captain leaves without a word and begins to issue orders to his crew. Not a single member of the crew spoke with us in the remainder of the voyage. I'm starving. Indeed. The awkward atmosphere aboard the ship only served to add to our fatigue. Though we put quite up the brave front, our bodies had really taken a beating. We may have pushed ourselves a little too far. Hmm, what's wrong, Ruin? A new city? A new country? Look, Sally, Ritona! It's a whole new world, right before our very eyes. Ah, oh, that's right. Her whole life, she's lived in the city of Cadia. It's only natural that she dis uh, she's this moved. What a beautiful port city, amazing. It sure is lively, even at this time of night. The sun had already set quite some time ago, yet there are still people flowing in and out. There's even seemed to be some street performers in the crowd. Salphine, Rune, take care not to stray and get lost. This time we need to get some sediment stones and open a comcraft line with Salphine. I'd like to have some form of communication with Rune if ever she gets lost though. She can't use mana though, so I guess we can't do anything about that. Ah, if that's what you're worried about, my brother gave me this. Room brings out a dark, shiny, rectangular box. Ah, that's... The same device Rudo gave me as I, as we were leaving Cadia. You had one too, Rune. Just like yours, Rutona. Could you take it out? Hmm. Sure. Now that you, I think about it, I never got to ask Rudo how to use this thing. Okay, so hold this button down, and... Testing, testing. Whoa! It sounds like Rune's voice just emanated from the box I was holding. Wait, that actually was Rune's voice. <laughs> it looks like it's working just fine. <laughs> what in the world is this? How is your voice coming out from this box? Hearing a box almost talk like this is rather unnerving. 
This is the product of Zevix Enterprise's latest technology, the transceiver. These transceivers are connected by a special mana line developed by the company. If we get separated, we can use these portable handsets to communicate with each other over a short distance. Amazing! So this is thanks to science. These portable handsets won't have the same range as you would get using regular comcraft though. Handsets? Does that mean there's a larger version of these? Yes, the master transceiver device is in the Zeritz headquarters. It's the, about the size of the entire Lab 9. With that one, there is a slight lag in transmission, but it can send a message from one end of the country to the other, or so I hear. So you hear? Yes, I was exiled, so to speak, partially in order for me to test its real-world range. We won't know just how far it can really transmit until we try it out. I'll make contact with Rudo later, too. Just imagine, when these devices become commonplace, it'll be a, a sight to see. I'm not certain whether there will be a demand for these in the inner pole, but long-range communication without comcraft. Selfine? What's wrong? Selfine's face looked completely devoid of life. Oh right, she's been quiet ever since we got off the ship. <laughs> Are you alright? Uh? I'm so hungry! Whoa! Uh. <laughs> she must have used the last of her energy to shout like that. Sally, are you okay? It's no use, looks like we'll have to find a meal before anything else. Seems so. I'm also quite... Udvegnismus... Hmm? The erratum tuning isn't working. Ah, right, they don't speak the same language here as they do in Cadia. Rau Rustis. Child, sorry, but we, um... This is the problem. Carrying on a conversation like this while Selfine's out cold will be tough. Sorry, um... We don't understand your language here. Ah, Cordodian, me understand a little. Oh, well now. It's a little broken, but the tuning was able to pick up the words out. Can you speak Cordonian? Here. H yeah, here this canter. Words like Cordania. Traders speak when kid I learn more. Or well, some. So there are people here who can speak Cordonian too. If that's the case, I can just make some minor adjustments to the tuning. If we converse a little, then I should be able to synchronize my settings to the language. My name's Sol. Are you merchants both? I guide you town. What do we do now? So your name is Sol, huh? My name is Rune. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Rune. Rune, pretty name. Rune, sorry, but can I take it from here? Eh? Sure. Your main language is Viscanton, correct? Could you talk to us in Viscanton? Smes understand Viscantian? I knew it. I should be able to tune the erratum to match the intonation and accents of this language. Maybe because of the geographic proximity there are a lot of similarities between Cordonian and Viscanton. Ah, this is a problem, Returner. It doesn't look like we're getting through to him. Now, now, relax. Just a little more and I should be able to tune to the proper settings. Tune? Settings? Now let's think about it. How did Returner and Sully know how to speak Cordonian? Uh, 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 child, I sweet the speech mannerisms that Selfine taught me when we were in Cadia. Let's try a fairly simple sentence. We are travellers. Eterna's suddenly speaking a completely different language. We've travelled many countries learning different languages. 
Well, miss, so you can speak for Scanton. Lucky me, I've hit the mark. I can't understand a thing Return is saying. Well, that's the gist of it. Now I'll cut to the chase. What do you want from us? What do I want? Calling out to complete strangers to guide them around town. I'm sure you're expecting some kind of payment in return. Payment? Sol, was it? What are you doing here in the port alone at this time of night? Where's your family? They're all dead. If they weren't, I wouldn't be wandering around alone at night like this. I've been making my living guiding travellers like you around town. Aww, this has to be a scam. I can just smell it. What are they talking about? Though judging by Returner's turn of voice, I could wager a guess. Uh, Returner, could you interpret a little for me here? I've been making my living guiding travellers like you around town. Oh, what was I? Zarpin just came too. The timing could not have been any worse. Oh, hello there. Returner, Rune, could you introduce me to our little friend? Cordonian, my name, Sol. Miss, very pretty. Tee hee hee, so your name is Sol, her. Thank you. Ah, let me make it easier for you. It'd be much more comfortable for you speaking like this, right? She tuned her aeratum in an instant. <laughs> Stunning linguistic skills as always. Wow, miss, you can speak Viscanton too. Oh, now Sally's doing it too. I guess this is also kind of Minecraft. Hmm, so what is he saying? It seems he's making a living by guiding people around town. Eh? What do you mean, makes a living? He doesn't have any family or relatives to take care of him. I guess this is also a kind of Minecraft? That's terrible. Is that true, Sol? Yeah. But there's a lot of people that come to this port, so I'm scraping by. Sorry if I bothered you. Around this time is when the last ships of the day come in. If I don't hurry, I won't have any more work for today. Returner, please, can we get Sol to show us around, please? We could, Returner. Well, we should, Returner. I'm kind of lost here, but look at his face. Look at how sad he is. We've got to help him out here. Is that all it takes to fool the two of you? Returner. Returner, please. And of course, if I say no, I'm going to end up the villain. This is clearly way too fishy. Fine, no point in arguing. I'll be the bad guy here. Alone, no family or relatives, scraping by as a guide. Alright, I'll bite. Child, no, Sol was it. We'll have you as a guide then. How much do you want from us? Hmm. It gives me a number, but I don't know just how much that's worth. Rune, he says it'll be this much. How much would that be worth in Galos? Whisper quietly to Rune so that Sol doesn't hear me. Hmm, I'm not sure what the prices of commodities here are. But in Cardia, that's about enough for a square meal for one person. He isn't asking for much, then. Even more suspicious. Miss, you're kind of mean. This is the first time anyone's ever treated me like this in my entire life. Sorry, but we're not looking to make any friends. If you are, though, then you're better off trying your luck with these two. Returner, Returner, that's just mean. If you're not satisfied with the tour, then you don't have to pay me. Please trust me, I'm not a bad person. Trust is something earned, not given. If you really have no bad intentions, then why don't you prove it to me? But, before they do, I will stop this video here.
If you want to watch more Fault Milestone 2 videos, please leave a comment in, this, in the video below or like this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.